Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called Compound Return Investing. So the objective is to try to get 201 trades each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades and we do take into account losses. Uh, so for further details about how to join us in this journey and the access to an exclusive in-depth strategy video, information is available in the description below. In the previous video, we did an important stock update on Tixamal MMTLP, looking at the potential likelihood of a squeeze. So please refer back to the previous video for details of that. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing a follow-up on MMTLP, looking, my, looking at my eight selected companies that are primed for a potential buyout of oil coal. So this is uh, in response to one of the statements provided by John Birder, where he said they are going to be waiting for a buyer for MMTLP when it spins out into oil coal. So stay tuned for my list of uh, top eight companies, which I think uh, could be good targets, good candidates for buying out oil coal. Uh, we're also going to be looking at Tixamal MULN later on. There is an upcoming catalyst on the 27th of June to be aware of. So stay tuned for that as well. So before we start, let's have a quick look at what's happening in the markets. Those of you will be following the market will know that we're in very, very difficult times here. So the headline we're going to start by looking at here is with regard to concerns about inflation uh, and also has uh, uh, in terms of uh, renewed concerns about it has the fed triggered so basically we're in a bear market now so on monday previous week the s p tumbled 3.9 percent uh causing a, a 3749.63 and the index was down 21.8 percent from january the third looking at an all-time uh, where we had an all-time high of 4,796 so it is quite significantly down and this is the first time the S&P has closed down by at least 20% from its high so again it's now officially a bear market and by the end of the previous week the S&P has fallen to 3,674 uh, again now it was down 23.4% from the high so uh, if we look at historically what basically happens uh, historically bear markets have come with more pain uh, and again it's uh, lasted 18.6 months and seen the S&P fall 38.3% before bottoming and obviously there were economic reasons for that so right now we are po possibly looking at an announcement of a recession so again trading will be very very difficult but again if you are careful in the market I still believe that profits can be made so uh, let's finish off now by having a look at some key dates to be aware of for this week so those of you uh, who may not be aware just to a reminder that there is no trading uh, in the US markets on the Monday so um, that the key dates to be aware of here Wednesday 22nd of June we're going to get UK inflation uh, the Fed chair uh, Powell uh, testimony is going to be also begin before the Congress uh, and the US Senate Banking Committee uh, the Eurozone Consumer Confidence will also be uh, available on Wednesday, the 20, June, uh, the 20, sorry, Wednesday, the 22nd of June. Thursday, 23rd of June, key highlights, S&P Global Composite PMI flash estimate, UK Consumer Confidence also uh, there, and we're looking at the Japan inflation rate. Finally, Friday, 24th of June, we're looking at uh, paychecks uh, and uh, KMX uh, earnings, UT UK retail sales will be announced. Uh, so again, the key dates here to be aware of. So I'm going to start by giving a shout out to G Wasserman on the comments. And what he said here is Oilco is going private, freezes our monies. Uh, Ali, how long do you think it will take for the company to take over Oilco? When we sold, we can sell our shares if we choose question mark. So uh, I'm now also going to give a shout out uh, on Twitter to one of the good guys and also uh, another shout out to John Berda. So one of the good guys here asked, uh, asked a question here in his post. He said, uh, what I've read is that when a company goes private, I think that's essentially what's happening here. If short positions don't have time to cover, they cover what's left at that price the day the company goes private. Could be a problem if MMTLP is cheap at the time of the spin out. So again, this is a theme that we have covered in the previous videos, but let's have a look at John's response here. There is a problem on the last day. The problem was that those 
short legit or otherwise and the bds that allowed it if it is cheap like you say there uh, there is a law that states that oil coal must sell shares to cover at that price question mark short answer no so I'm going to give my insight and uh, feedback to Jill Wasserman's question on the comments. So before I do that, uh, there is a headline here from Yahoo Finance I'm going to share with you, uh, dated Friday, June the 17th. So this may be uh, significant and relevant to what's happening with uh, MMTLP. So the headline here is Percussion Petroleum Seeks Buyers for Perme Permian Land Worth Up to $1.5 billion dollars so again sources are not quoted here but the head uh, in terms of what we can see in this uh, breaking news here is that the company is looking to fetch up to 1.5 billion dollars by selling around about 25,000 net acres in the permian shale basin uh, and again this was uh, informed to reuters on friday betting on rising oil prices and to pocket more than double what was paid in 2021 so the reason why that's significant is uh, from 2021 to 2022, the company here is basically making um, a suggestion that the, the, the price is now doubled in one year. So that's very significant. So obviously the key reason why there is a doubling here in, in price is because of the significant increase in the price of oil and in the price of gas. So again, this could be very, very important also for the valuation of oil co. So in terms of oil coal, once the spin-out is completed, what we are aware of is that the company will not own the land. The land is owned by the university, but uh, what we are also aware of that the company ha will have mineral rights to the assets. So these mineral rights uh, will also have uh, a premium on them because of the uh, increase in the price of oil and gas. And the company will also be able to uh, sell the rights of these uh, mineral assets. So that's where obviously the price of oil and the price of gas will potentially benefit the spin out into oil coal. So this uh, news article that we've just seen suggesting a, an increase in 100% on in terms of the price and the valuation of land and assets in the uh, Permian Basin, again, it should be very positive news for us. So what I'm now going to do is share with you, first of all, uh, my selected choice of potential buyers for oil coal. So what I would like everybody to in the comments is first of all, uh, again, give your opinion in terms of not what your preferred outcome would be, but what your uh, realistic think most likely outcome of a potential buy will be. Because obviously this, there is a suggestion here from John Birder that they are going to have a buyer. They're going to be waiting for a buyer. Maybe for legal reasons, they cannot disclose that there is a buyer or a waiting buyer. But there is a growing speculation now that we may be getting closer to uh, a, a final outcome so let's have a look at the companies that i've uh, chosen here so uh, number one i've chosen exxon mobile corporation so this is tick symbol xom so again this is a strong candidate as well number two chevron corporation another strong candidate to buy out oil coal tick symbol cvx i think uh, a good one would be shell uh, and they have also known to have an interest in that area as well tick symbol hates shel Conco Phillips is certainly going to be a leading candidate as well, tick symbol C-O-N. And then we have the two Marathon companies, Marathon Oil Com Corporation, tick symbol M-R-O, and also Marathon Petroleum Corporation, tick symbol M-P-C. Uh, then we also have Occidental Petroleum Corporation, uh, tick symbol O-X-Y. So I think one of the outsiders I've added onto the list is tick symbol B-P, uh, B-P um, PLC. So this one currently trades on the UK uh, stock market but again you know no reason why they couldn't diversify and expand overseas so again this is my list of selected choice of buyers again it's not restricted just to these i'm sure there will be other candidates as well but um again please le leave a message in the comments which one you think is the most realistic buyer for oil co so it could be my choice of eight here or a another I'm now going to move on to look at Ximil MULN, Mullen Automotive. So those of you who have been following the channel will know that this is a stock that has been featured on a number of occasions. This is a high risk volatile stock and just a few weeks ago this was trading in excess of $3. It did also come down below $1 right now. Uh, I'm going to share with you the chart for the previous five days. Uh, the positive news here is we can see the stock is up in excess of 32% over the previous five days. Uh, and close of play on the Friday, the stock was up in excess of 5.6%, closing at $1.32. So the overall momentum from the 16th 
of June 2022. Again, what we can see here is uh, positive movements upwards in the 50-day moving average and in the 200-day moving average. So a uh, huge increase in volume there uh, just before close of market in the power hour on the Friday. So uh, what's happening now with Monal Automotive? Let's have a look. So the first headline I'm going to share with you here is from Investor Place and the headline we can see here is Mullen Automotive gains ahead of June the 27th uh, Russell 2000 launch. So again very positive headline here. So what does this mean? So what this basically we can see here is going to be added to the Russell 2000 and Russell 3000 indices on June the 27th. So we do know that the stock has been extremely volatile. Investors are now seem to be banking on higher volume driving up the price of shares in the near, ter near term. So this is very bullish. What this also basically means is significant amounts of institutional investors with ETFs will be required to purchase and buy into Mullen Automotive. So again, this is a strong positive sign. This is a sign of confidence in the stock. And I think most investors will also agree that Mullen is uh, an exceptionally good candidate for a long-term hold as well. And finally, the next big catalyst I'm going to share with you here is the one that was announced by the CEO previously. And uh, we can see here that again, we're getting close to the date. So the date here we're going to get the news by is anytime before June the 30th. And this is with regard to the Fortune 500 company. So the electric vehicle maker has, uh, going to, is going to release a fully detailed uh, information or press release of the deal with this company uh, that is going to buy a lot of their vans. So again, uh, in terms of a quotation that we are planning on announcing that this is a very large company that is going to buy a lot of these vehicles. So this is the key catalyst that most investors are waiting for. And I think this one is certainly the one that could certainly drive the price up quite significantly. So uh, again, key date here for you anytime before June the 30th. If anybody would like to get access to our weekly watch list, which will be available before start of trading uh, this week, uh, again, you can join the Discord for little as $9 a month. The information and details are available in the description below. So uh, just a quick reminder of our watch list from last week. So we called out Sava. That did it quite well in the difficult trading week. We also called out Redbox. This is a stock that we have been following uh, for since it's been trading around about $3. So and again, an extremely volatile stock there. Husser is uh, another stock that has had exceptional gains, but again, extremely volatile. Uh, making uh, significant movements down due to the fall in the price of oil. So that one uh, is again one that is um, uh, also looked at, but again, we could see a movement back up there. So certainly one that is uh, another one to keep an eye on. Uh, Tixamal, COGT, PALT and BLU. Amongst other stocks were also called out. So congratulations to everybody got into those. Uh, so again, a uh, quick reminder, that if you do want to get access to the watch list, you can join uh, our Discord for listeners $9 a month. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.